After an outbreak of GI illness at John and Sally Brown's wedding, epidemiologists at CDPAG called wedding attendees using an outbreak questionnaire. Little did Rachel and Nicole know that they'd be interviewing the frustrating four. Hello. Hi, I'm trying to reach Kelly, please. This is Kelly. Hi, Kelly. My name is Nicole. I work at the State Health Department. And we're calling people who attended John and Sally Brown's wedding on April 20th. Oh, the wedding! Oh, love, love, love Sally. Love the wedding. It was oh, fun. I could tell you so many stories about Sally. Well, before we get into that, let me just explain to you why we're calling. Um, oh, well, you're calling about the wedding. Oh, I can tell you all about the wedding. Yeah. Well, Actually, but no, they're broken up. I'm really, really quick, I was kind of devastated just, about that, to be honest. Kelly, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I just want to explain why we're calling. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Well, okay. Kelly, just uh, just so, uh, unfortunately, I have to run to a meeting here really quick. So if I could just, uh, for five minutes, just ask you a few questions about Okay, sure. Well, I have a treatment that I have to go to in a oh, little great. bit. Well, so as long like, as we keep it quick. Yeah, we're both on a time schedule here. So yeah, let's okay. well, So now I just want to ask you some food items. Uh, that were served, about some food items that were served at the wedding. If you could just let me know, uh, just with a yes or no answer, if you don't mind, um, okay. if you had any of these uh, falling food items um, at the wedding. Did you have any of the ham? Oh, no. Mm -mm. So it looks like, just to summarize here, you had some mixed vegetables, some of the salad with tomatoes and cucumbers, tea and water, and some strawberries. Any other foods that you remember eating at the wedding? No, I try to keep it under a couple hundred calories. Okay. Potentially. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, and that's why, so we're trying to talk wow. to people who attended the wedding who were sick as well as those who were not sick. And well, then compare I, I've been sick, ate. actually. Um, okay. I, yeah, I actually have a doctor's appointment later today. I, I think oh, I'm dear. coming down with um, multi drug resistant tuberculosis. I have a really sore throat and I have like all this congestion I can feel in my lungs just building up. Well, so okay. I, I might have, have this. Um, this illness. Do you think that could be related? You know, at this point, actually, we haven't heard of anyone with respiratory symptoms like you're describing. Oh, um, people okay. who uh, that we've learned about who've gotten sick have had more gastrointestinal. Like, can I just verify no diarrhea and no vomiting? No, but now morning? that I, I know that this is going on, I'm going I'm to take some Imodium because I, I really... I can't, I, I don't want diarrhea. That's like the worst thing ever. Okay, well, you know, I might suggest that you talk to your doctor um, before taking even over-the-counter medication like that, just because, um, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to cause any harm. And, and if you're, you know, well, not Well, having... Imodium's safe though, right? I mean, I, I just well, I just took a pill. Should, should I take Pepto too, just to double up and make sure that I... You know, I, I'm really not in a I, position I... to give medical advice, so I, I would suggest you talk to your um, regular doctor. Not... So now I'd like to move into some items. Wait, so... Uh, is it if this is contagious? Could my could my son have this outbreak too? He's he's just a baby. Yeah, you know, actually. Oh my so, gosh! What if what if I got him sick? How? You know, in, in this case, the fact that you're not having vomiting and diarrhea, um, it's probably unlikely that you have the illness that we're seeing in some of the other wedding attendees. Uh -huh. uh, so at this point, what I would just recommend, um, you know, if you were to develop vomiting or diarrhea, or just in general, practicing really good hand washing, mm -hmm. especially after using the bathroom. Oh. Well, I'll just uh, make sure food. I just use lots and lots of hand sanitizer. Okay. Doesn't look yeah. Should I, should I just take him to the doctor? I'm, I'm really you know, worried about point, him. If, I, if he got sick, I'd just be devastated. You know, that's cer you baby. certainly could, but at this point, if he's not having a fever or any other symptoms or acting differently, um, you know, he probably isn't sick. Um, um, so I want you to tell me whether or not you ate the food, um, and if you don't remember, that's fine too, okay? So I don't have to remember everything. That's right. I know that I probably don't remember everything I ate on April 20th, so just okay. do your best guess. Um, did you have any ham? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Any mashed potatoes? Do you think it's the ham? So we're really not sure. Um, at this point, we, we don't have a specific food item um, okay. of interest, and so that's why we kind of ask everyone the same questions so we can compare the people who were... Is it because the bride got sick? You know, I'm actually not sure who specifically became ill, and I can't share anyone's personal health information. Um, so you don't know who's sick? I don't. I mean, we ha as I talk to people, I've learned of some people, but I can't share anyone's individual information. Did you have tomatoes or cucumber on your salad? Those are pretty high risk, aren't they? Well, 
You know, depending on, on what, made, what pathogen made people sick, and we're still in the process of getting laboratory testing to learn what actual bacteria or virus made people sick, um, some, some illnesses are more associated with fresh vegetables, some are more associated with meats, some tend to be spread between people. So at this point, we really don't know so yet. So this is pretty complicated, isn't it? Yeah, it's why it's so helpful for us to get all this information from everyone. Well, I won't stop you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so do you think, do you recall if you had tomatoes or cucumber on your salad? I don't remember. Okay. Any of the canned artichoke hearts? What's an artichoke? Um, so let's see, they're a um, kind of a spiky green vegetable. However, oh, then no. Well, it wouldn't have looked spiky, though, because it was the canned hearts, and so they're usually... You're confusing me. I have so many questions. Okay, so it looks spiky and green, but it wasn't at the wedding? So when it grows, it's spiky and green, but the way they served it at the wedding, it was just the marinated inside okay, part of it. Okay, then I ate so many of those. Okay, okay, so they were kind of green. They were cut kind of in quarters, green with some marinade on it. That's something you ate? No, I changed my mind. No? I don't think so. Okay. Was your diarrhea ever bloody? Bloody diarrhea? There was bloody diarrhea? Well, Michael, people had bloody diarrhea. Oh my gosh, I thought it was just vomiting, but it was bloody diarrhea. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. We're going to do something about this. We're going to do something about this. I, this is what I said. I told Sally, I said, I said, we got to do something about this. I so said, we, we've got to take some legal action. So, Peggy, do you was know any lawyers? Oh, I don't personally. I mean, I would encourage you perhaps... I think perhaps you get a lawyer. They okay. can't do this to people. They can't host a wedding. You know, do you know how much money Sally's parents paid? Certainly. So, you know, I don't know of any lawyers particularly, <gasps> oh, but you could go online. All the energy and time that we invested in this. I think the years we've been waiting for Sally to get married. And then it all, I mean, somebody goes... I'll never be able to go to that bar again. I really like that bar. Okay. So, Peggy, was your... So embarrassing. Was your diarrhea so bloody? So embarrassing. So I have a cousin. Uh-huh. He's a lawyer. I'm going to call him okay. after this. You're going to give me your name and your number. Certainly, right? certainly. Okay. I'm going to give so you... I'm going to contact you again, right? Certainly. I'm going to give you all of my I contact. pay taxes, so I expect to get a good response from you. Certainly, certainly. I, I'm going to provide you with my name and phone number. Bill um, will I, help us. I can even do that now, but our agency is used to working with lawyers, so if that's the route you choose to take, um, your cousin lawyer would just need to kind of fill out some that's paperwork requesting maybe. that, and we would provide the um, information that's public. We can't share any information about individuals um, or individual illnesses, but we can give you general information you and, what you pay your taxes for. and a copy of our report. So Peggy, if we can get back to your symptoms, was your diarrhea ever bloody? No. Okay. Did you have abdominal cramps? So Kelly, now I want to ask you about some of the foods that you ate at the wedding. Oh, um, well, like I said, I'm on this cleanse, so I, I really had hardly anything. Maybe just a couple of vegetables. Okay, in just the vegetables, that's it? Yep, that's it. Okay, you know. Well, I can skip all these food items then. and um, yep. Nothing else. Yeah, just one other question. Did anyone else um, who did not attend the event become ill? You know, Miss Coli, so it sounds like you've had symptoms and your son may have symptoms and your, um, your dog has some symptoms. Yeah. And I have no medical training. I'm not a clinician. But you know what I've read on the Internet and just what I've seen here at yeah. work uh, with some of the doctors I work with is if you all three take uh, probiotics, I would start. Oh, all I've three. got I've got a lot of probiotics. Yeah, I would probably is... double or triple up on those. Okay. Because that, yeah. like, that might really help. And then um, if you have any old antibiotics laying around. Yeah, um, I have I some think, left over from when I got bit by a cat. Yeah, what, splitting those up between you and your uh, son, your uh -huh. infant son and your dog, that that might help. Okay. Again, I. I, I I'm not I'm not trained in medicine, but that seems to well, work. Well, but if me, that's so. what you read on the internet, then that's probably yeah, it's pretty, usually pretty it's right. safe. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for that advice. That's oh, helpful. no problem. Awesome. No problem at all. Okay, moving on to the food items yeah. here. So, Rachel, this artichoke thing is weird to me. Can you tell me more about like where they come from? So, artichokes. I know a lot of them are grown in California. I'm not so sure. So, not in Colorado, because I only eat local. I don't believe we have artichokes grown locally in Colorado. You don't know. Um, 
But the ones Sounds like you don't know. I really want to know. They looked, I mean, they're, they're light green. Um, they were marinated, so there were probably some spices on them. They were cut in quarters. Do you think that's something you ate? No, that sounds gross. I would never eat that. Okay, so no But I do want to know more about it. Well, what, el what else can I tell you about artichokes? Uh, it sounds like there's a lot to know that you haven't shared with me yet. <laughs> Such as? Do you have specific Like, what does it taste like, Rachel? I mean, you didn't even say that. Well, I think they're delicious, but I'm not exactly sure how to describe that to you. Oh. And you work for the state? <laughs> okay. <sighs> there was bloody diarrhea. I thought it was just vomiting. There was diarrhea. Oh my God, bloody. Oh, we're definitely going to do something about this. Okay. I want to. <sighs> Can you tell me the name of a good lawyer? I, I really want to take legal action. Do you know any lawyers? Well, well, actually, there are lawyers that specialize in this. And, yeah. And, yeah, and honestly, from our perspective, it's easier to work with a lawyer who's kind of experienced in this area. They know what to ask for. Uh -huh. um, Can you give us a name? Well, there's a, a law firm in Seattle oh. called Marler Clark oh. that specializes in this. Um, actually, they have a great... Um, blog, Marlar blog, talking about different outbreaks. It's kind of interesting and fun to look at. But uh -huh. I mean, you'll have to talk to them for like exact numbers, but okay. I know that, you know, people can make a lot of money on these oh. lawsuits. <laughs> so if I just Google their website. Yep, I Google it's Marlar Clark. Thank you so much. That's yeah. very helpful. So now did you have bloody diarrhea? Uh, 